The San Jose City Council has unanimously voted to move forward with creating new gun laws. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck in tonight for Frank Somerville. And I'm Julie Hayner. The council asked staff to have the laws written up by September for a final vote. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live with the controversy over some of the plans. Jana. Julie and Mike, this was a big first step forward towards final approval. San Jose's mayor says if they pass, the laws would make the city the first in the nation to require mandatory insurance for gun owners and charge fees to cover costs of gun incidents. San Jose's city council heard public comment and debated for more than two hours Tuesday night on a gun violence reduction ordinance. At the virtual city council meeting, community members spoke out for and against the proposals. And I'd like to thank the mayor and the city council for bringing um, these measures to try to reduce the harm and public health burden of gun violence. It puts a, a financial burden on a constitutional right, um, which is the right to, to bear arms. The proposal comes one month after a VTA employee opened fire at the transit yard, killing nine people. Included in the ordinance is a first in the nation mandate that gun owners have insurance coverage for unintentional shootings. Another proposal would require gun users pay a fee that would be used to offset costs of responding to gun incidents. The council reviewed a study any, by the Pacific Institute like on Research so and Evaluation that found taxpayers ended up paying some $39 million to cover the cost of about 205 incidents of gun violence in San Jose every year between 2013 and 2019. Medical costs, police costs, other emergency services costs, criminal justice costs, both the courts and the jails and prisons, victim services. Some community members say a gun owner fee is unfair. I strongly oppose more taxation of legal gun owners. Each time gun owner buys ammunition right now, they pay 11% federal tax along with California background check fee. City council members debated whether retired law enforcement officers or law-abiding gun owners should be exempt. It's up to the local uh, governments to try to come up with any and every possible solution at least try. San Jose City staff say they are expected to have the law written by September for a final vote. Another law, which was already passed two weeks ago, does take effect in September. That would require gun stores have uh, video and audio recordings of every gun purchase. So a lot of activity going on in San Jose, but we'll have to wait for a final vote sometime in September on those two very controversial measures. Jana Katsuyama reporting live for us tonight. Jana, thank you.